Hello everyone, this is Foltos playing Crosscode, and we're going to do a little bit of uh, quest cleanup here. Because <clears throat> we got this guy. Wow, Mr. Seeker, you really did it. Here's your rewards for it. And we get some nice weapons. So I'm going to go ahead and select the correct button here. Uh, at least I thought I got some nice weapons. Oh, I got this. Awesome. Ah, and another edge of all. Okay, there we go. Alright, what do you got to say? Hello, Miss Seeker. Ready for another quest? I even have more equipment as a reward. Okay. Happy collecting. Remember that different plants yield different items. Here you go. Wow, Mrs. Seeker, you really did it. Here's your rewards for it. Alright. So that gives me even more equipment. So I happen to have that done before I even... Before I even, uh, you know... Just from, from training and fighting stuff, I happened to get the stuff I needed. Now another one I wanted to do... Actually, I think one thing is over here. Uh, dang it, I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, it's nice to do these quests to get some better equipment, because you never know. I think this is one? Yes. I already got the report. You did a fine job out there, for a rookie. In any case, you are welcome to help us out again in the future. The Rookie Harbor Guard is always busy. And I get, we get some hailing items from that. Now, another thing I wanted to see if I could do were making the food sets for that one quest. Uh, veggie set. How many of these did I need? Let's see here. Two veggie, two fruit, one spice. Okay. Two veggie. Uh, looking for fruit. Oh wait, does he have more uh, sets I, uh, that I can do? Ah yes, he has them all. So I go over. Two fruit, one spice. Alright, barkeeper at the gut punch. Go ahead and tend him those things. A little more south. Ah, finally, another seeker visiting my humble establishment. Are you the one with the new supplies? About time. That Mr. Nomsworth promised those ingredients hours ago. Makes me wonder why we even pay fancy p paper pushers like him for just doing some calls anyway. Next time, I might just contact those doing the real work myself. Anyway, I'll send him a confirmation about the job. You better go back to him to get your reward. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick warp if I can remember the buttons here. Boosh. You should be, yep. I've already gotten the message from your satisfied customer. Good job, here's your payment. I hope I can count on you for future assistance. Alright, and that gets me a level. So I'm now level 10. As you can see, I gained a couple levels between now and last time. Let's, can I make anything here? I think I saw that I could make the bovine armor. I can't make the daikon, sadly. I would need a bit more stuff. But I could make this bovine armor. Hmm. Honestly? Let's go for it. I now have 15% Berserker. Uh, if I want to know more about that, I click that. Uh, and then I click... Uh, no, that's not what I want. Checking buttons. I want to hit... Dang it. <laughs> I'm going to figure out what button I need. Here we go. Help. Increases damage dealt when at critical HP. So if I happen to have critical HP, then I'll do that. I believe that's all the quests that I have any progress on. Alright, one more thing I wanted to try, which was simply the uh, elite quest. Even though I'm way under leveled for this. I need to hit that button, go over here, and then I can hit this. Okay. 
we're gonna give this one shot. If it doesn't turn out well for us, then oh well. Also, uh, if, if I check here, I unlocked a bit more stuff, including two special uh, skills. And use those, you either aim with your thing or you don't, and then you hit tr the trigger button and you'll do that special skill. I'll show them both off. But I have to- there we go. Oops. <laughs> I accidentally activated that group. It's okay though. I have to have, um, see that blue thing to the right of my HP bar up on the top? That is my SP, and I need skill points, in other words, those, to be able to use my skills. Otherwise, it won't work. It'll say no SP, and you can't use it. I'm going the wrong way. Let's try this again, shall we? I must have missed the jump point. Yeah, it's right here. I missed it. Okay. So, big advice I can give for this game is to always farm up items, so that, uh, for the items you want to get, um, trade-wise. In case there's some kind of armor or weapon you're really looking to get, you just need to figure out what you need to do for it. And occasionally you'll need to do some trading between different traders to get all the things you need. It can be quite a challenge at times. So here's the room, here's the place we gotta, I missed. I have no SP. Okay. Boom. Ah! Can't see. Yeah. Oops. You need to remember to aim the shield at the enemy, otherwise it'll be a, uh, dumb. Also, that can interrupt their their spinny thing. The using a special attack can interrupt somebody's charge attack, which is very useful. I don't have any SP. After I finish these guys off, I'm going to want to... Uh, stop. Yeah, I just keep going. But we're going to stop for a second. <coughs> Clear my throat because I was starting to get tickly. And head down here. And here it is. Oh, it's a trap! And here's... Our first boss, uh, uh, first, ah, oh right, it has a multi-spin. And I died! Alright, we could try again. I believe it just instant spawns now. It actually spawned earlier, but I, uh, wanted to fight everything, because that's how you originally get this thing to spawn. Unfortunately, I did not show that off. But anyway, as you can see, this thing does a lot of damage, and this is actually a called a level 15 quest. <laughs> 135. Uh oh. Woohoo! Ow! Okay, okay, item. Let's go ahead and eat a sandwich. Use that SP attack to interrupt his charge attack.
Ah, he got me. Okay. Okay, that's enough trying. That's enough trying. I will... Oh, by the way, you can use this to figure out how strong something is. Surprise. You can also see here... You see resistance? That's not important just yet, but it exists. Uh, I'll explain more later when it becomes more pertinent, but for now... Uh, there's no need to talk about it. Because there's nothing to do about it. Like, we don't have any of the things that they are resistant to. Oh, yes, let's see here. Uh, headphone scraps, bovine skin. So, if you need items, you can occasionally just trade in, uh, other items you have to get the items you need. You know. So, I need junk metal to get that. This guy sells junk metal. So, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get both, because those seem like nice things to get. Okay, I went the wrong thing. So we got the civilian trigger and the mugger's blade, and I believe you have to be up to a le- no, actually, no you don't. You don't have to be up to that level to use it, but, you know. So the things I got, one improves my shooting abilities, uh, uh, attack power, and one improves my, uh, melee attacking power. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm high enough rank that I was able to get one of the things I needed for another quest. Because if you're a higher rank, they'll start to drop better stuff. Uh, it depends on the monster. If we examine an enemy here... Nope, that's not gonna work. If we go into records, we go to Monster Fibula, you can see here, question mark, you need to be rank A to get a chance at one of those drops. Just like with the bovine, you need a rank C or higher to get the raw meat which you need for a quest. Here's some bosses, giving, uh, plus their levels. Little things here and there, exploiting stuff. Here's an example of a place that you can farm for, for plants, but you have to shoot to get to them. I wonder if they'll ever bring back the fishing system. He likes fishing. Let's see here, map. Uh, looks like this way is the only way to progress on the old road here. Nope, need to be up here to shoot those. Nope, still need to be higher. There we go. I see a treasure! Sneakily sneak our way over here. And drop down to it. Veggie wraps. I recall getting some kind of equipment piece from one of those, so I want to see if that's better than what I got. It is. Giving a 25% re uh, resistance to the first of the elements. And I almost do enough damage now to just KO some enemies. Oh, hey, we're over here. So, in other words, we just went on a gigantic loop. Oh, off-road one. Yes, I needed to be in... I needed to go to off-road one anyway. Unfortunately for me, I jumped off and there's no easy way back up. Or is there? I think there is. See here. Let's 
Over here? Okay. There's something I needed to do in this room, I believe. This, this area. Just need to see where it is. It's one of the old roads. Was it this one? Or was it... Pathway 6? The location... Data storage device... Off-road 1. So use your analysis to search. Oh, what's this? It's in that direction. Ah. <gasps> Enemies! The dead end. Alright, we got the geodata. So I guess we'll take that to the person next time we go back to the village. Won't be right now, though. Ow. Excuse me, Mr. Cow. All right, we reached rank C. Now I can defeat this cow. And it might draw raw on me. It did. Did you ever drink fresh cow milk? It's delicious. Those darn bovines barely take any damage from my attacks. We're gonna ignore those for a second. Sploosh. Head back this way. Nope. Hmm, I hope we don't get lost around here. Ah, over there! Seems we have to head northwest to reach Bergen Trail. I hope it's not too far. I will have to log out sooner or later, you see. Oh, don't worry. I'll stay until you beat up Mr. Grasshead. And please don't hurry too much because of me. We have to make sure you're well trained, no? Alright then, CS Party! Hmm, that is right. We have been playing for a long while now, Leia. Anyway, I suppose there is still time for you to face that duel. Come on, Leia! Nah! Oh, something hit me with fire. I wanna fight some more bovines. All right, back to the... All right, quickly. Huh. Ow. Ha! Huh. Rank B. Rank A. And I should probably stop. Secret room. Level up. Sneaky secret area. Hmm, I see. So, you know, we got to go this way. You got to go this way. Do some snonky, sneaky bonking here. Have to look for the when the uh, angle's right. There we go. Now we can hit this one. 
and that unlocks that. Which we cannot reach from this side, but we can reach from the other side. In other words, this was a big old puzzle to unlock some things that I can't actually reach at the exact moment. So as I note, the dark red ones are the rarest, uh, one of the rarer plants in this area because you can only really get them through silliness. Like that. Oh. Oh, well, we found the old observatory. To observe those who seek all elements is our duty. If you dare to seek our wisdom, then only what is broken can open this door. Hmm. Only what is broken, huh? Well, that is certainly a thing. Here's a here's a black cow. Oh, let's see. There we go. We have defeated the dark cow. Another one bites the dust. You're not doing this to mess with me, are we? Wait, yes. What do you mean by that? I'm messing with you, or something. Apparently. Am I messing with you? Oh, hello. Hi. There are many strange places in this world. Huh? Okay. Do you say so, random mysterious teleporting lady? Can't get those. Gotta go up here. Dungeon Heart. That's an item that's gold. Which means they're they're rare to find. Hi. Hey. It's nice here, isn't it? I've gotten way past Autumn Rise already, but this is still my favorite area. So I come back here to relax when I'm getting frustrated with the game. Nice guy. This wants to chill. So if we look at our map here. Should be getting closer and closer to the end of Autumn Rise. I missed. Prepare to feel my wrath, Mr. Mole. There we go. Okay, uh, to get that. We have to go from there, go that way, maybe from here, and then make a jump from here to go here to get up here. Alrighty, I got some bear cicadas. Get out of my way. <laughs> As you can see, these things aren't causing me too much difficulty in terms of damage and uh, HP and etc. Uh, that equipment that I found is very helpful, and so are the levels. Hmm. Someone over there. Can I sneak, sneak my way over there? Maybe, but it looks like it takes an adventure. Hmm. Alright. Let's go on an adventure. How about that? It's over here. Mmm, stuff! Okay, that was a big old loop. Uh, 
However, we can go this way. But that's not where we need to go. It looks like... Here to here to here. And then here to here. Awesome. Got some blue shells. Just a guy standing around. You know, it's not bugging him if he doesn't have anything to say. Here to here. Sneaky cave. What's in the cave? Some dudes that we're just gonna mess with. Damn it. We destroyed the dudes. There wasn't really much of a point besides that, but we destroyed the dudes. Now we can go over here and get the treasure that's hiding over here. Uh, ah, we got a daikon. Excellent. Let's see, do I want more shoot or do I want more brawl? I want more brawl. And now I got some HP regen. Which is always a nice treat. Though I have weakened it a bit for my playthrough. It's a bit stronger normally. When it shows itself. I'd have to actually have damage to my HP to have it show itself. Let's see lots of random shooty things up there. You splooshed me! Ah! You splooshed me again! Ha! Huh. Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead! Alright, uh, I believe this is the end of... I believe we're getting there. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way there just so that I can have an ending point here. Hello! Yes, what is it? Let me guess, you want how to reach that chest, yes? Figured. Well, you already really it's this, but jumping from here on those pillars is not the right solution. No, you have to go another way. In fact, it's a very roundabout path to reach it. Do you want to know more? I suggest you try to find it the way yourself. It's more rewarding. Oh. Let's sneakily uh, not see what he says there. I will return here to get more stuff. Ah, here we go. I got all the Autumn Rise landmarks. Okay. Next time we'll explore more of Autumn Rise. Finishing it up. And then we'll go say hi to Mr. Grasshead, the lawyer. Till then.